I've been here quite a while, as far as uh, human time goes. But uh, there are those of us, hope, hopefully, who've been the kind of example, the women. Okay, this song was originally written with the thought of a man. There was a particular candidate that was running for office. And I had a husband at that time. It didn't mean that my husband was gone on him. Uh, he was gone on who he was. And he said, no, you've got to vote for this guy. I did end up voting for him. It was that I was in this community of Monterey, and this was a gentleman that they wanted to run. Okay, but he didn't know me. I didn't know him. I was at an event for him. I didn't even play this song. But it is the, actually the foundation for a song that I did present at a women's convention. It was a regional convention in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I didn't get a chance to stay on too long because there was another woman who was much more known and important. She was a lawyer, one of the lawyers for Billie Holiday, the wonderful singer, who had so many problems. One particular problem uh, was a dependency. That's part of my presentation called Songs for the Living, the condition of trauma, of being, say in the first place, black and being a black woman. It's something that can affect people different kinds of ways. Uh, Billy had been terribly mistreated as a young girl. But I'm going to go to uh, a song that still is the same one that I wrote for this man, but his words that I was able to sing part of at that convention because Flo Kennedy, one of the important lawyers of the before uh, civil rights, but another woman who was a journalist who was run out of Memphis because she and others around the world, I won't say all the way around, but I'm going back specifically to the women of England who were supportive of <sighs> Ida B. Wells. She stood up for her and wrote about her. It was joined by other women saying, lynching is abominable. We are women with hands that a world can rely on. We are women with stands that they dare live or die on. Find a man, find a woman who's humble, who can reason, ready for any job, any season. But don't take our boys, our girls, our young people, we've had ours, you got yours. It can be torn up by, what's that four letter word? <laughs> Lead us to victory in Find a man, find a woman with a hand who can lead us to can kill you. It's so hot there, honey. Go out to the beach. Near where the Pullman Yards used to be in the dunes. Oh, life is rich. And what beautiful women we got here. Right. 
Everybody's up singing. Mm -hmm. Spread your wings. Take the sky. Take to the sky. Oh, all those white armors are going to be floating down. It's going to put them in. You're not going to get away with when you want to contact something in the sky. It's going to fall eventually. Unless they fix it down here. Hush. Hush, little baby. Hush, little baby. Don't you cry. Over my head Pianist Singer Composer Nina Simone Some new work coming out. Yes, I can't tell you the name yeah, of it. Yeah, right. You can't talk <laughs> yeah. about it. Okay. How about giving some advice in this great month of Women's History Month to some younger people coming up who may want to uh, follow in a musical path as you have taken? Well, I would say use your writing skill for writing and learning how to write grants, because sponsors of whatever kind and from whatever walk of life they come from, if you can find something that they will find worthwhile in your presentation. For example, uh, if you're one who likes music that has to deal with, especially, one, purpose, one of the four purposes that I want to deal with, which is mental illness, these dependencies are a kind of, any dependency, <laughs> whatever it is, is hooked up in, in our heads, we, we know that. Uh, the idea of I can't be free and settle down to a job. This is partly also the ability uh, to focus yourself, such as the friend that I had, the boyfriend that I had at one time, who could shut everything else out and focus on what he wanted to be, which was a classical singer. He was not tall. He didn't have to be tall, but he was nice looking. He could sing well, but not good enough for where he wanted to go. Let's be honest enough to say, I can't play that concerto now because I haven't practiced in 30, 40 years. Okay, so I woke up one morning and I said, okay, I'm not going to play that with an orchestra. However, I did play that first movement of Gershwin's concerto in F when there was a time and a place for me to do it when I joined the military. I played first piano, piano one. I never played with an orchestra, but that's one of the fondest dreams, the kinds of fond dreams that we can hold on to. It's too late. There was a song in Leonard Silman's New Faces of 52, out of which Eartha Kitt came. And she was quite a powerhouse, though a small woman. She was small, and she was dark complexioned, which might not put her in the in same sort of spot for a lead role in uh, the beautiful Harry Belafonte, I believe it was, and Dorothy Dandridge pairing up. She was not light enough in those days. To, anyway, <laughs> we understand. There is no, the better than syndrome, I call it. That's a kind of sickness, too. Let us be healed within and without. That's one of them. Heal yourself. It's your self-esteem. It's not anybody else's. Your self, you have to decide, yes. Maybe I didn't get it this time when I wrote that grant. Took me a lot, long time to get. But maybe you only got one. Maybe it's going to take more than one. Maybe it'll take you to write a show, to write a book. People said to me all to me in years, why haven't you written a book? Well, I think there's so many people with books out there. At this point, I am going to, I think, sit still long enough and decide I'm not going to run here and there. I must be satisfied because I had enough practice being in solitude 
with my grandmother and I, the only two people in the house for years, because everybody before us and other places I could go and visit, they passed on. But we have to know that we are not alone. Also, technology is going to take us to another planet, uh, to the other stars, where the clouds... Just sit back and relax and be ready. Don't let your water get poisoned if you're still drinking it <laughs> out there. Hey, Boots, wherever you are out there in, in that uh, town up in, in Michigan, yeah, mm -hmm. no, we've heard about it. Thank goodness we have some communication. Let's make more communication and be able to deal with the realities of the artist's life. And I say one statement I made on, uh, it was called New York One. It was my uh, great uh, pleasure to be in uh, uh, the program that the news commentator on that Sunday morning, and on Sunday mornings, it might be in somebody's archive there, uh, New York One, uh, I said, not much, but my one statement is, is, is actually, I think, uh, the right one for today and for all, ever, whatever it is that you are called upon to do that you don't think is your thing to do, I don't care what the other people are doing, whatever. Mm -hmm. They were doing something else that might be called something else back in the Bible times, back in when the Quran was written. Oh, I don't have to do that. And that's simply, I don't have to do that. You're not joining in what is not you and that will lower your self-esteem eventually. When the word gets out, well, I don't care what word gets out. If I know better that I did, I didn't fail to do. I've been accused of talking too much. I'm going to cut that off right now, but say, show me by doing or not doing. Yeah, I had the joint in my hand. This guy thought he was doing me a favor. What if I'd been picked up? I might not have been here today. This was a long time ago in San Francisco in the park. Lot. You could do anything in the park. Somebody's looking at you. All right. So it's my great pleasure to be. And somebody's, oh, my backyard has these flowers in it. Yeah, what are those? They are not really orchids. Okay, we know what they are. And there's a time when you get a lot of money for that. Whatever my goal is, it's not a lot of I would like to have it now, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to be looking over my shoulder when I get it. But I enjoy being with you. Broadcast. Communication. Give it away. I had a wonderful mentor, Arthur Cunningham. He taught more people than you could imagine. Rockland County is only so big, but people from all over knew about him and wanted to emulate him. Please look him up. I and mean, Some of these things that you hear about, the book of black composers uh, written by uh, a woman that's been at Harvard. Uh, she was at Harvard, Eileen Southern. Uh, she's put together a number of uh, books referring to who these people are, how they think. He built a house. He was born... I think to a 14-year-old mother in an affluent part of Rockland County, he was sent up to Maine to be with some relatives up there. And he had the birds, he had the things growing, he had water. We love water. He loved water. He loved people. He gave hour after hour after hour from the young people in Rockland County. And I want to know where is that young man that was working on his thesis that went to Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay, we're back to that Lake Mission again. Show up, darling. It's time for the world to know Arthur Cunningham, who was an example into the next period, the next phase, a man for, like other men and women, women behind the man. His wife was with him. He was sick. She was nursing him. But she went on to finish building this house. As he did, he loved to work by hand. He worked in a factory that had mill, like a, like a mill, okay? These hands had played piano and wrote scores and was a historian, knew all about the Gulf tradition. Okay, it may be washed out in one library. That was the case. He was, and I were in the same period of time back at a university in Pennsylvania. Well, look out, you know, maybe Washington, D is not going to always be our capital. Maybe they will be down in Philadelphia. Who cares? The point is, where you are with what you're doing, is it worth doing? Yes, the next generation, or generations after that. If it's right, let us not destroy these institutions. 
thank you for inviting me to be, spend this time with you, uh, aside from practicing the piano. I'm going to practice being a better individual by my standards. Thank you for the opportunity. Someone to sing to. Jaron, there's our song. He's the only person in America in Berlin where we did the show, Someone to Sing to. Someone to sing to. Joins me to bring you all of this music on top fire in my head. The sparks from my laughter live ever after. I'll never have to be sorry. I never sang at all. Lena Horne was one of the people that I was singing to. She was appearing in Monaco when I was there. She said, next year, 1981, I'm going to come to Broadway. So I had this song ready. I wrote it in Monaco for Lena Horne. That's okay, she didn't do Bubbly Brown Sugar either. She was offered that role that I filled as understudy. And I went on for Thelma Carpenter, who was a fill-in, who went on for I don't know how long on Broadway, replacing Pearl Bailey in Hello, Dolly. was before the parade passes by I'm gonna get some life back into my life before the parade passes by I'm gonna get some high life into my life I'm gonna move out in front nobody's gonna steal my life we're the best of them the best of them. I can hold my head up high because I know it's inside. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna drive again. I can feel myself, seniors, coming alive again. Stella, uh, my girl, you know, I didn't want the word old. There was a feeling that you can see in to keep you strong again. When you think you can't go on, oh, my rheumatism's hurting. You don't have to be afraid of showing what you're made of. When you're someone to sing to, sing to you. No, you don't have to be afraid of. Hey, you prince and princesses out there, show what you're made of. Cause and when, you know, beyond a doubt. You know inside, yes, I'm me, I'm free. Someone singing to me. Mommy, the whole family. You'd like me if you knew me. You'd love me if you knew me. I love myself. When your whole world, when your whole world, when I'm sure, girl and boy, my heart is singing to me. No. Right now, know who you are. Ah. Rubiana really wanted to have a membership and to be have some particular honor from the organization that we were in together. Called that was one way I knew her, Rubiana. A close-up. International Women in Jazz. She's one of these people that you just know. <laughs> it probably was. I said, listening to some jazz, listening to some music. It didn't have to be jazz. Well, I might have been in the village. I was working in the village. Might have been in the village. And uh, just as she was trying to, it was before she went back to school, I think. But it was over a period of time. She was also different places. She was at St. Peter's, um, at what they called uh, the um, Jazz Vespers. On, on Sundays at the 5 o'clock, now we're there 6 o'clock. That's what I'm saying. She, she knew me well enough to share you know, some things with me. But I did speak to her frequently, whenever she answered the phone or she called me. But people knew about her because she was the one, she was one of the ones that say, I want this education. She did whatever she could get do by whatever means necessary to get that. That's what gets you, that's one of the realities of your life you do. <laughs> and she was not that well. 
what she continued doing, and she gave back to other people. This is which is why being an example for other people. Nina Simone. I did mention Nina Simone. Her her when I was doing the vamp that was identified with her, which wasn't really one that she had invented, but uh, that's my baby just cares for me. He used this this shuffle. Okay, uh, that was my recognition uh, that uh, Hazel Scott was going to play. Uh, she was too ill to play it. I, I didn't, and she said, I, I don't need to say this, but uh, the agency office, the man, the man that ran the easy, but anyway, he said, Hazel said, when he was talking about, well, who's going to replace you on this job? Uh, and Hazel had seen me. She had, I mean, you, people see you playing, you don't even know they're there. But I had actually spoken to her at what used to be the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Mm. That was where Hazel Scott and I actually spoke the first time, I think. Uh, but then I had also subbed for her, uh, although I was doing more than one thing when it came to Bubbling Ground Sugar. Uh, I played several roles, uh, understudying. And I also played with the band that, that, that was on the band, was not in the pit, it was on the stage. But what I did with Bubbling was wrote lyrics and music for and acted with the first Broadway company. But uh, I was assistant to, to the music director, uh, who was also one of those that was one of the writers of the music. The song Harlem Makes You Feel uh, was a, I don't know, remember what award it was, an award for the man that danced it. I didn't do the choreography, that was Billy Wilson. But Bubbling Brown Sugar, the title tune, which uh, the lyrics that you hear, they always sing the chorus if they don't sing the verse, which was written by Lillian Lopez, uh, who was not available. She seems not to have been, I don't know where she is. Maybe she moved to Europe or something. Uh, but um, she was not around uh, you know, to receive any, any kind of recognition. Watching life passing by me out there Warm little chintz curtains Kids in the kitchen Movies on Saturday night Sooner or later We turn on each other For changing each other's life one man replace all the music that is so much a part of me. Though he's secure and strong now, one day it would all end up wrong. Oh, six 
o'clock supper, kids in the kitchen, movies on Saturday night. Sooner or later, we turn on each other or change in each other's life. And one man replaced all the music that is so much a part of me. So he's secure and strong now. I'm sure it would all turn out wrong. Stop by for a moment Now and then we shared a moment One beautiful 